Hey everyone, it's Ferial at Techmetric, and in this video, I'm going to review the enhancements we've made to the Smart Can jobs for brakes. So, real quick, if you notice in our old Smart Can job, you were able to build a brake pad set for the can jobs. However, it was a full brake pad set, meaning you were selling for front and rear brake pads on one job. However, a lot of you guys gave us feedback that you would prefer to split the front brake jobs and the rear brake jobs separately because they are sold as separate services. So we went ahead and added some enhancements to the smart job. Now, before I go ahead and show you guys how to set up the new way, please keep in mind if you do have the old smart can job set up for brakes to go ahead and delete it and go ahead and build a new one in order to have it working properly. Now, if I go to can jobs, I'm going to show you guys how you can take your existing normal can job and make it smart. And then I will show you guys how to build it from scratch. So real quick, this is an existing can job. It isn't smart or anything like that. However, if you want to make it smart, so in this example, it's the front brake pad and rotors. You just have to click the smart job here at the top right called brakes, go to the front, and then I wanna select brake pads and rotors and go ahead and click add. And now you'll notice I have two smart labor lines that were added as well as the two smart parts. In this example, I'm gonna go ahead and still use my own labor hours. So I'm gonna remove the smart labor lines and then I want to actually keep these smart lines and remove these placeholders. So go ahead and remove those. And now I have quickly updated the old can job that wasn't smart and made it into a smart one for the front brake pad and rotors. So just wanted to show you guys how you can do that. Now, if you do not have a can job built for brakes, but you do want to go ahead and build one and make it smart from the get go, you can click the smart can job option and select brakes. In this example, I'm going to select rear since we just built the front one and I'm going to add rotors as well. One thing to call out if you do want to build a smart can job for disc calipers or brake lines or even rotors, but without the pads. If you do use the smart labor times, they are going to be lower than expected because the brake pad is the main labor operation and these are going to be additional ones under that. So just keeping that in mind, if you do customize this a bit further. In this example, I'm going to build this for brake pads and rotors for the rear. And then I'm just going to add the job title real quick. You can add a job category if you'd like as well and set my labor rate. And then in this example, I'm going to use the smart tech metric labor hours. So going to keep my smart lines rather than my own, since we did the our own labor hours for the front, just so I can show you guys those examples. And I'm going to apply my labor matrices to the labor and parts. Once that is done, you can go ahead and review the final stages. If you do not want to charge your customer two labor lines and just want to, let's say, charge the brake pads, you can go ahead and delete and adjust at the end of this and then click save. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and navigate onto the job board and let's go ahead and actually build a new RO. And I'm just going to select a vehicle and create a new repair order. And now that we've done that, let's go ahead and add the smart jobs the smart can jobs that we have built. So I'm going to, go, going to go ahead and add the front one, which was the first one we built. You'll notice it's taking my, my labor hours that I set up in the can job rather than the smart ones. And since this is a front brake pad set, we are going to prioritize the front brake pads. So I'm going to go ahead and quote real quick. And then as well as the rotors, these are for the front. And you'll notice the rotors are set to a quantity of two by default. And then for the brake pad set, it is going to be one because it is a set. And now let's go ahead and add the rear. Here you'll notice it took the smart labor hours for this vehicle, which was one hour for the brake pad replacement. And also I'm going to go ahead and quickly quote. And of course, if you quoted by accident and you wanna look up another vendor, you can just open this back up and select a different option. If you have any questions on setup or how to use the smart can jobs for breaks, please contact our support team. Thank you and have a wonderful day.